Hey guys, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time around 9.30 here in Dhaka, Bangladesh, my um, capital city where I live. And I would like to welcome you to another Morning Thoughts episode, even though this is not a morning. But I have made these uh, particular series my own thing. You know, different people have different discussion, different specialties. This is my uh, one of my things that I do outside fragrance review okay sometimes it's about fragrance review sometimes it's about life some of you hate it some of you like it you know because this is something i do from my own okay it's not it's a uh, an extra thing that i do okay so today we'll be discussing one very important topic plus maybe some subtopics or so okay so hopefully you're doing good i am wearing since i was doing the um, list i picked up aventus today uh, i'm wearing aventus for scent of the night one spray on my neck after the shower and a nice little haircut which I give myself, I, I am a good barber, you know, to myself. So I've been cutting my hair for the last 10, 15 years, <laughs> um, bragging rights, right? So today uh, I will be doing a um, talk on a particular topic, and it's going to be the main topic, which is, uh, is smelling common a bad thing or people on the other side are more in number? Like which, which, which people uh, are you, you know, like which group are you, you know part of like which group do you belong to so i think it's an interesting topic because sometimes i see comments here and there and then i get ideas in from different groups so uh, is smelling common a good thing or smelling uncommon a good thing so we'll discuss that so first of all what are uh, common fragrance common fragrance are everything mostly designers okay like that can be found on most shopping malls where they carry fragrances and you'll see fragrance like versace purum hugo boss bottled nautica's voyage perhaps these are the most mainstream ones and everybody knows city name right club name intense man you go anywhere you smell sabosh you go anywhere you nowadays smell baccarat rouge these are most common uh, dna that people wear and uh, i noticed that there are two kind of people in fragrance world who are using fragrances one are the people who are this group members like uh, watching reviews they know about notes you guys like are like who are watching me or any other reviewers you guys are more like specialists or professionals or i would say experts in fragrance line already because you do your research and even if you do not see it but you guys are so much more expert than many of the other people out there you can say the per brand name properly you know how to say hermes or you know how to say dr or uh, chanel so i personally feel everybody is learning i'm learning still after 10 years or so and it's life is a learning curve right so going back to common fragrances like there are two kind of people people like you who are watching me who are experts but there are some other people who are not part of these groups they have been using fragrance since long time back even before us our uncles you know like experts senior brothers or uncle our fathers whoever so they perhaps are like this kind of people like they used to use one fragrance like my dad used to use um, old spice he always stick to that for many years then i got him uh, think he used boss bottled armani's code and he used the like, same fragrance over and over again. So he had like three, four fragrances, right? So not everybody has hundreds of fragrances. So these are one type. They always stick to one fragrance for the rest of their life. They finish the bottle, they buy again, okay? And there's other side, people are like you, you know? You guys are special. And you guys always look for what's brand new, what the sellers are bringing, what's being released. And you always collect. You guys are collectors, right? You cannot deny it. You guys are the collectors. You, my friend, is a collector. So uh, what do you look for you know you look for different things different people look for different things some people look for uh, what's the most uh, anticipated fragrance of the year let's say lamal elixir the new one right the golden bottle everybody's waiting for it because there's a fan base from lamal lamal uh, le parfum lamal ultra male uh, so many lebo uh, lebo mal uh, or or you know like all fresh so you are collectors you look for the most loyal in as a most loyal fan i'm gonna buy whatever is being released in that bottle i don't care i need that bottle so you're a bottle collector you are a good fan of that line that's one type another type is they're very picky very picky they go to market and they go like smell different stuff and they look for certain fragrance that suits them you know they don't buy everything they have perhaps the money perhaps they don't have budget to buy everything but these are people gonna buy something they know what they want okay very specific people if they don't like the smell if they're very picky if they don't like certain thing about a fragrance mm, the opening doesn't work for me you know the spray like it's not working for me the dry down mm, it's not long lasting mm, it's not my type it doesn't uh, have anything new 
So these are very, very specific people, right? So there are different kinds of fragheads. You know, not everybody is same. And there's other side. There are certain people. It doesn't matter designer, niche, cheap, expensive, okay? Uh, these, like, like, there are two more kinds, okay? There are brand, uh, loyal brand favors, like, how do I put it? People who love brands like Hugo Boss, you buy all the time Hugo Boss. You always buy Versace or you're a big fan of Creed. Anything Creed releases, it's a, you know, like godlike for you. So that's one type. Another type is some people want uniqueness. They look for something they don't have in their collection. Let's say they have 15 fragrances, but they want something, the 16th, to be something that don't have anything similar to it. Everything has to stand out. Everything has to be different. So this is the other type. So the discussion is, is it a good thing? Some people do say, Mm, mm, no, I don't want Savage. No, everybody smells like that on the streets. My best friend in fragrance community who says, I used to have my dear brother Shafi Bhai, he used to have a massive bottle of 200 ml of Bakarad Rouge. I use their stories because they share with me and I think it's okay if I share with you. And he said, I loved that fragrance, but the day I smell one day on street, one of the young kids or his, I think, nephew, he was smelling like Baccarat Rouge and he knows for sure that guy, the boy cannot afford Baccarat Rouge. So he was curious, did you buy a decan from someone? Then the nephew says, no, it's, it's like a $5 or something, atar or like a cheaper, you know, dupe that he's wearing and he bought it from street side or something, right? It's not to put him down, but it was a cheap clone of Baccarat Rouge. And that day it bothered him so much. <laughs> he's like, you know, brother, I'm wearing this like 200, like not 200, it's like 300, $400 cologne. And uh, like, you know, I'm smelling like the other people. And then psychologically, it, it uh, sort of like did a damage, right? So many people do have that problem. They don't want to be smelling like 10 other guys. They want to stand out. Like some people, let's say, used to wear Aventus like this. Aventus no longer is unique. It's nice. People who know Aventus, they know Aventus. But those people who don't have any clue, they smell Aventus, they smell Sidinim, they smell uh, Afnan, Supremacy, and Silver. Everything is same to them, eh? Hey, you were in that fragrance, right? The $30 fragrance that in the store, they don't know about Aventus, right? They don't care for Aventus. They know Sidonym. Hey, I know Armoff. You're wearing Armoff, right? So emotional damage, you know that dude, right? And that's that that's done to some people. So they for them, they start moving from their mm, territory. Bakras Rouge, even it's expensive. Aventus is expensive. Uh -uh. I want super uber niche or uh, artisanal perfume or uh, there's other houses called what? Uh, niche. A designer and the other one is called what like you know those, those houses like they have very small amount of fragrance they make so what are they called niche designer you guys know what i'm trying to remember i cannot remember at this moment anyway so uh, for them they look for oud they look for very complex castorium this and that and i look at these people sometimes i'm like oh my god these people are gonna wear something that's very scary and they are gonna be wearing something that is not common to anybody else and I have smelled, trust me, uh, many fragrances which are unique, definitely unique. But personally, I could never pull them off. I cannot take their smell uh, because they're too animalic. But I respect them for making an effort. You know, they made their choices, right? So uh, is it a good thing? I think it, it's all part of the game. You know, when someone goes like, I want to stay safe. I want to wear something, which is what is, they go to shop, they go ask. Hey, bro, what's selling? What's top seller? Because to them, Invictus, when they're suggested Invictus Elixir or something, I'll take that. I smell it. Oh, I like it. It's it's crowd favorite. It's top seller. So I'll get sure compliments. So they're different kind of people. Who's right? Who's wrong? Nobody is right. Nobody's wrong. Everybody is right on their own terms, right? This is the beauty of the game. I said it before. Smelling like 10 other guys, if it makes you happy, why not, right? I personally feel if you are happy with what you got, what you're wearing. That is the most important thing because happiness is the whole goal. If you're not happy with having a huge castle, you have the 10 most super luxury cars, but you cannot uh, sleep in peace. You don't have, you always think like, hey, that guy is uh, richer than me. He has like 12 cars that more expensive than my cars. He has a private uh, like airplane and stuff. I don't have that. So in that way, you'll never be happy. You know, don't always uh, humble request is, do not compare yourself with others. Always, if you have to compare, compare with people who are under you, who are less fortunate than you. Then you know, you know, like you, you're doing good. If you have food three times, if you have a shelter, if you don't have to pay rent, if you can cover all your expenses, you still have some savings. And then, you know, you can go for holiday once in a while. You can have good food. You can have extra things in your life, like, you know, ice cream and stuff. And you don't have any loans. 
you're already doing much better than majority of the people in the world because this huge portion of people who are not well off they cannot afford they're struggling there are many people who are homeless obviously i don't want to say that you know compare yourself with the homeless people but uh, do not be ungrateful you know like i'll give you an example this month last two months i've been struggling you know uh, not that i ran out of money or broke but the business you know i have a page and then youtube earning everything is just declining and it's declining like so fast it's like literally like you see from the plane it's going down and you you're like and if there's nothing else you can do because you cannot fly a plane <laughs> it's not funny but you know what can you do you can only wait you can only uh, you know hope for better days right so i tell myself that i have got in past many many months that i bought 60 70 fragrances i had a great time i used to go there and i had hype fragrance i bought uh, i got gifts i got sponsorship this and that but you know if i forget those right now it will be not good so you cannot always uh, work like that sometimes the sadness does get to you right sometimes i do not have the physical strength to go up and do videos sometimes i feel like oh uh, fragrance game is dead nobody's buying anything nobody's supporting you and i keep doing my work nobody's watching the videos is demoralizing you know many big reviewers will tell you the same if you ask chad gentleman's journey he started when so many years back he is one of my mentors you know or carlos colom and me we all talk about him all the time if not or guys like Chad or Steven or many other great Mark, they are the one who push people, introduce people, new reviewers in the community. And some of them are doing so good right now in the community. They have so much more subscribers than those reviewers. But, um, you know, uh, we don't sometimes see it, right? So we have to appreciate it, you know, like sometimes it do not work uh, in your favor. So coming back to that topic, let's uh, close it. Then we'll have one more topic, then we'll close it. Uh, I think people who are smelling common you know you may not feel excited about his dior sauvage or aventus you're like oh, i smelled that before well, it's just sauvage but someone smelling like blood chanel I, I know blood chanel but you know he smells great he smells great than most of the people out there right some people are sweaty they don't use any dio i tell you major crime if you don't have deodorant if you do not know what deodorant are deodorants are please um, buy and then use <laughs> underarm you know that will save so much embarrassment or so much trouble to you know for you or other people because i think if you don't have good cleanliness or you know like other basics right fragrance do not matter right so uh, i think those people who smell in common they are 85 percent of people but 15 percent who are using uh you know niche or what's that house like man i want to remember i cannot remember that word niche and vintage <laughs> I can't remember still it's horrible anyway so yeah those people who smell unique everything i don't they think they do it for compliments or uh sometimes i notice some people who have no idea what they're wearing but they just do it for attention they just post a name like people go wow you're wearing a thousand dollar cologne and people go like yeah yeah and but the thing is he doesn't know what he's wearing he doesn't have any idea about the notes breakdown nothing he's just wearing it for the brand so i think when you wear it for the brand and some fragrance you don't even like but you're pretending to like it now nah, there's something you know fishy about it but on most part i think you wear what you feel like wearing okay but don't judge others right you cannot afford niche you're just wearing all your clones let people be happy you do, not everybody has the money or the desire to spend so much on fragrance line so the last point i want to talk about uh right and wrong you know when you talk about it i see this topics it's not to judge anybody but uh it feels very weird when i came to my suggestion some of the popular youtubers and they put women killers you know fragrances and i see it it's it's perhaps it's not english this, this is their first language but i'm pretty sure they know what is the difference between lady killer and a women killer women killer sounds like a psychopath you know something like one of those you know <laughs> uh, serial killers but if you think of lady killers you know that's a term that we use for decades right oh it's a that 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 dude is a lady killer you know he's like a hunk like a james bond or something but when i see those titles women killers or 10 ways to get in her pants and something that will get her attention and when you see those views i mean that's ridiculous you know like people watch those kind of titles like oh my god she's the best reviewer and stuff and it sort of tells me a story you know a lot of reviewers i'm not talking about me there are many reviewers i watch they actually know about fragrances they are not influencers they have been working with fragrances for decades they know about notes breakdown they read magazines they write, write columns and stuff and when you see their views they're like 
1000 views the same uh, like let's say they, they reviewed the same fragrance but they did describe everything for 20 nice minutes people don't have the time or patience or the taste to watch their reviews and it really hurts me and i i speak for those reviewers uh, who deserve more guys like chad deserves more they deserve to have uh, money they deserve to have of course they are not poor but they deserve to get the most you know uh, out of this because they are the ones so the forefathers of fragrance community all the og reviewers uh, salute to you and i think these are the guys who guys or girls you know like they are the ones who deserve the fame the money because they work so hard but you know uh, this other type of content sometimes people like to see cleavage they like to see women like maybe this youth they like that but when you see the just let me tell you the difference between influencer and a real reviewer influencers perhaps work in five six different kind of line of work makeup food vlogging traveling this and that and they get a fragrance for free for example if something is given to them they will promote it okay in bangladesh i work with a lot of these influencers they work for money whatever you give them you give them money they will say good things about that and they have a big followers uh, follower numbers or you know fan following so they will be influenced and go and buy the perfume or any product that is influencers but in reality they don't know anything about the fragrance notes breakdown they are not expert in this line and they don't really care okay and it's about consumerism it's about the money of course it's all about the money but it feels somewhere something is missing you know people who claim they are the master of fragrances but if you really ask them like bring them like a designer tell tell me what's the note in there they cannot tell you notes breakdown you know not always we can but we have certain idea this is similar to this that so that's the difference between an influencer and a real reviewer so everybody is doing great work to promote and keep the game happening but when i see uh man uh, these titles you know and people like that man she's so funny what funny has to do with fragrances uh, he she's so sexually funny and if you see you know comedy you know stand up comedy I'll just give you last example uh, i watch a lot of you know stand up comedies and i i don't want to be sound like sexist or something biased but is the mostly the dudes especially african american black dudes who are funny for me and they are you know bill bar or some guys who are genuinely funny right and they don't insult others they don't uh, pick on women they don't make sex jokes only to be uh, popular they naturally are funny but you see certain uh, stand up comedians like women most of the time you, they all they do is this uh, sex jokes you know and they like you know they feel like you know like pushing people to laugh you know they are not funny i don't find them funny i just shift the channel so it's not about men and women but natural some people are natural some people are not so you think about it you know if you buying a fragrance based on something that is funny or you know like some girls models random models are telling you oh this is something i would date this guy you buy the fragrance and you try it with the model if you can score with the model if you can that means what it was all bs right so i think fragrances are expensive be smart you don't have to listen to us you don't have to listen to anybody if you truly love this game which i believe most of you do do it out of passion do it out of real thing you know there's no such thing you get thousand compliments in one night that is just complete bs and uh, i say it about in general you know you can hate me all you want but when jeremy said you i got 30 compliments in one night he is good looking he looks like tom cruise he looks like tom cruise you know he looks like ronaldo right he looks like a star he can dance he's good looking he can get 30 compliments but lanvi delom does it ever get you 30 compliments at one night it can get you compliments but it's not a sure thing so when you believe those things blindly i think again once you become old in the game then you see start seeing like oh oh back then he said dylan blue is the fragrance is going to get me married <laughs> you stayed forever you know lonely <laughs> fragrances do not do anything except few things make you smell great they have their own thing and i think fragrances are for passion it's about enjoyment what you like uh, collecting bottles or using it and showing it to your friends share but end of the day when you think you spend thousands of dollars but you never got a compliment cuz perhaps you look creepy you know or you're not giving a friendly vibe you know there are other reasons why women you know anybody would like you if nobody likes you it's not about fragrance it's not fragrance's fault so there are other sides we can look at but ending the discussion here that fragrances i think uh, if you want to be influenced do what you like it's all free world but uh, also think you know uh, when 
is it influencers trying to push a product or they really really mean it when they say it is life-changing experience is coming out of their soul you know and they know that you know it's owned by some of their you know known people or boyfriend or husband or something and uh, you know if they really break down the fragrance or they're telling the real story if you pay attention then you can tell so yeah i mean influences versus real reviewers i think real reviewers deserve some credit to watch more in-depth reviews maybe smaller channels i really really admire even at this moment i will not say my channel is great okay uh there are a lot of reviews i have seen comments from indian groups or some of the groups say 2019 prior joy i mean used to be great now he's just like sell out it's okay because i do work also this is my line of work it may sound like it but there are smaller channels who just started out of real real passion 1000 subscribers give them a subscri subscription give them like a view and see what they have to say they'll give you an honest opinion because they have no um, sponsorship they are not getting free stuff and they're telling you brutal truth thank you so much for watching love you all hopefully this discussion is something that you watch and enjoy take care i'll see you soon bye, -bye.